All right, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're gonna be going back and cutting trees and clearing some trails. Uh, we have a ginormous fake rock feeder for the deer in the back. However, my dumbass forgot the key to the four-wheeler. So I can't do the trail, uh, trailer, the four-wheeler, or anything to get back there to put this in. However, I am gonna go back there and start cutting some trees down uh, and opening some things up as in the back where the hunting area is at. I really wanna get on that now. I'm here, might as well do it. So we got the steel chainsaw um, and we're gonna head back to the woods. So we've had a crazy amount of rain since July. It's been raining constantly. I've been doing everything really I can here at the property to stay off of it, but at the same time identify some of the issues so when the ground hardens up that we can come back in with the tractor and dig it out. So one of the things that we've done here, it's not too far back on the trail, is started to clear out this area that got really bad. Uh, you go back on some of the videos, one of them was doing this very thing and it got really mucky here. As you can see, it's still pretty bad. We added like a little culvert in here and the idea is not to fix it all in one go. The idea is to get it to drain enough that the ground hardens up that then you could grade it. Now I came back here and I dropped a whole bunch of trees right before the food plot. And what it has done is it shifted the migration of the deer, but it's also blocked the trail for me even walking. So I'm having to walk into the woods and blow that out. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get started on. We're gonna hit the time lapse. So we got the trail just about cleaned up. What we're gonna do is when uh, the time comes, we are going to drop some of these trees and just lay the logs in here. And then build a like a another log road top, kind of just like this over here. And do what we can to fix this. So so I was just throwing some sticks in there, but now we can actually walk through this trail. This is this is a pretty bad trail. This was horrible. I have a clog over here. We're getting ready to go check. There's a, a pipe that runs across over into the creek, another cut into the creek, and it's obviously not working. So we're going to see what the issue is there and what's going on. success <laughs> so i found it it ended up coming out uh, it's a lot longer than i thought it was but right now I'm, i have the thing in there you can tell it's it's coming out a lot faster it's coming out like it should at full just about three quarters of the pipe and i'm gonna figure out something for this It'd be nice to have a clean out pipe here but i think i'll probably just go to a, a six inch uh solid pipe and i'll never have to deal with it again this was just a temporary fix so we're gonna be working on this too. This is all gonna get graded out and this wood will be going to the trail that's back here that we just cleared out. So now that we have this going, this is running down into the creek. We're gonna come back and check this out here uh, in a little bit. All of this water is gonna have to, to come down from a ditch all here, uh, all back through that way. So I don't know how much it's gonna come down but I'm gonna leave the Maddox on it right now. We're gonna worry about that later. This is going, we're gonna make our way 
down the trail and start clearing some other things out. Whew. We need to get this tree cut down. I don't know what happened here, like a micro burst. I mean, this one tipped over, that one ripped up, this one ripped up. They all fell that way. No tree fell on one another, and like nothing over here. So the roots and stuff, the trees here are not really used to being deep rooted. There's a lot of clay. I mean, I guess a wind could have came down through here, twisted and, and knocked one of them over that started to get this one to go over. And then that one knocked over, I'm not quite sure. So we're just gonna leave those there. I really don't mind that. I might, uh, it's pretty dangerous to actually deal with that stuff right now. This one, this one's actually pretty dangerous too. Cause what's gonna happen is when I start making a cut here, this is gonna want to buckle, right? So this is gonna wanna lift up and sit back down while this moves possibly and uh, changes the way it's set on the tree, it could fall. I'm pretty confident it's not gonna roll my way, but uh, this is a little sketchy, but we'll get it done. do i didn't think it was going to fall all the way down but whew. all right so we're back here at uh, the middle stand this is what i consider the middle of the property about a quarter mile back this is unditched untouched property uh from this point back the only thing we've done here is made a, a just a trail through you know ease of access but that trail has become uh, pretty bad and basically just a river. So we're gonna Use that as a ditch once it dries out and ditch it on that side. There's actually a little creek that runs on that side. So we're gonna hopefully Tap into that and use that resource Eventually this will be ditched and then dirt mounded and then it'll be a trail main trail that's going back But first we have to build it and I also have to worry about the can-am the side-by-side -side getting back here with the feeder and uh, so that's what I'm going to focus on now, making my way back through the woods in the easiest route for the Can-Am to get back there. And also this will be a new access uh, trail just for uh, walking back to the back of the property as well as uh, to access it with the side-by-side -side only one time. And the only other time we'll ever bring equipment back here on this trail is when we're building it. So this is hopefully going to make things a lot easier for us back here. wrapping up i want to give you guys an update the camera was on time lapse and ran out of battery i'm not sure where it left off but that was a lot of work uh to get what i'm doing now just know you might be like oh justin look at this thing this is a disaster how are you going to even build a road through here well before i could do anything i got to get the tractor back here and like i said earlier there's a creek that runs across down here and like a little uh, watering hole. So I'm debating on either ditching this on this side of the property because the, the property is high on that side, low over here. So it all flows this way and pulls up in this general area. This is insane. We've also had a lot of water. So typically it's not really like this, but we can't have it like this obviously all the time. Uh, that's what's gonna have to happen before we do anything, which is cool. I went to bxexpand.com got the the root ripper for the bx 23s backhoe so when that comes in this job's going to get a lot easier instead of trying to rip out the roots and tree stumps and and cut through the roots with the the big 16 inch bucket i'm going to be able to use that so the plan is to put the road all the way through here now the idea also you'll notice these little islands is to kind of map the islands right use the higher terrain already for the trails and 
not have to worry about this this crap right here some of it gets really deep especially over in that area it's just all because it's dammed up and not going into that creek that natural uh seasonal creek that's over there but uh this will all drain out and we're going to use the higher ground here i'll come through with the tractor and push all this stuff aside uh grab this root and kind of chip it but we're going to leave it in there and the ditching from the road which will probably be on this side and at some point go under the road over to that side just because the the water flows this direction so we want to catch it on this side stop it from coming over any farther redirect it down through here and probably probably under the ditch uh maybe 50 yards that way man you guys will not believe this uh this is insane actually so you remember when we first started the video that ditch that i had trouble finding the culvert pipe and then we shook it and got it unclogged this is what it's supposed to do check this out it is completely dry you can see that the ditching works how much water builds up in this these ditches that you like we never really realized how much water the property held and that's really going to help that all this stuff was all overflowing onto the trail that is it for this video this is part one of many so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything i don't know when we're going to be finishing the rest of the road but we're going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff with the bx23 we got that little uh root ripper uh from bxexpand.com we just ordered that so i'm excited for that when that comes in that's going to make things a lot easier we're going to be able to rip right through some roots rip some tree roots out and cut our time in a quarter and really focus on uh getting stuff that needs to be done this is amazing this was all underwater i don't i'm gonna have to go back into footage but this was underwater overflowing up into there oh man see the maintenance shows what maintenance does and i uh was slacking a little bit but everything's good now now it's time to go home